Hello friends, welcome back. Um, in today's video, we are going to be doing the personal rules for reading booktube tag. Um, um, and I will leave this linked below if you would like to answer the questions and film your own version. Um, other than that, let's just get started. This is a little bit of a longer tag, so this is going to take me a minute. Um, so, question one. Do you strive to read every day? If you do, do any... If yes, do you do anything different or special to make time in your day? If no, why not? I would love to be the type of person to read every day. But that's just not real <laughs> realistic. Um, I would love to start doing that sometime, but I don't know when that would happen. Um... I like to consume media in different ways too, like TV shows, movies, YouTube videos, spend a lot of time on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I, I just, I do other things besides just reading. So maybe one day I'll read every day, but for now, it's just not realistic. Um, number two, do you always stay within your favorite genres or do you experiment with different genres and subgenres? Right now, I've been staying in fantasy for the most part. I would, however, like to venture into like contemporary romance or romanticy. I don't know. We'll see. I I just don't know what. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I I don't know. I would love to read more um, romance, but. If you have any good like contemporary romance recommendations, feel free to leave those in the comments and I can look some up, but yeah, I mostly stay in fantasy to be honest. Number three, do you DNF? Sometimes. It depends. If it's drastic enough, then yes. Example. I read chapter one and it just it felt so generic like other fantasy books I've already read so I just didn't want to waste my time and the writing felt a little silly and like immature ish I don't know I'm I'm not I'm not a fan I probably won't ever finish that book to be honest um question four do you like reading challenging books? If so, what draws you to them? If not, why do you avoid them? Yes, I do. Um, I guess it depends on what you mean by challenging because I've read some pretty long books and that's hard for me because I have a short attention span. So I can't always focus on like a really long book. I'll get bored easily or I just don't want to finish it. So I just don't. But I do, I do want to give myself more challenges with my books because I feel like, I feel like if it's just too easy all the time, then I'll get bored. So who knows? I need to, I need to work on that. Um, number five, do you read books that have been banned by local authorities? Okay, this is a really interesting topic. Um, no, but not because they're banned, just because I haven't gotten to them. Um, I know The Hunger Games is banned. I don't know. It's a weird topic to like be talking about banning books. It's weird to me. I don't understand it. Um, I don't know. It's not that I haven't read them just because they're banned. It's just because I haven't had a chance yet. But some of the books on the ban list I'll probably end up reading in the future. Because I just feel like... I don't know. It seems silly, but... It depends on the book, obviously. If it's not something I agree with, then I'm not going to read it. But, I don't know. Um, number six. Do you read books by authors whose views you disagree with? For the most part, no. Um, but that's, that's a drastic reasoning, I think. Because I'm not, I'm not going to read Colleen Hoover. Ever. People can comment to ask me to read it if you want to. I don't, it, I'm not going to do it. Um, so it would be a waste of time because I'm, I'm just not going to do it. But, um, yeah, I just don't see a reason. I don't agree with a lot of the topics in her books. 
Um, I'm not going to give anything away. If you've never read them, you can go look them up yourself. Just look up trigger warnings for her books if you haven't read them because I'm not going to put myself through that. So it depends on what... It depends on what the view is that I disagree with, I think. Yeah, it depends. Um, and number seven, do you clear your mind of preconception slash bias before you start a new book? For the most part, yeah, I do. I go into a lot of books with little to no expectations. Um, so yeah, I think, I think so. I guess it depends on if it's a really highly highly popular book but for the most part yeah um and number eight do you recommend books if you end up liking them and what form does that recommendation take hi hannah <laughs> my best friend i know you're watching this um i just text my best friend like you need to read this you need to add this to your tbr read it as soon as you can it's incredible and i just like yell not yell but like all caps text a lot of the time with my favorite recommendations and yeah that's i i that and i rave about them here on my booktube channel because what else is that for but to express your deep love for a book um number nine what was the last book you recommended was there a specific reason do people come to you for book recommendations not really um the only person i talk to about book rec recommendations is my best friend hannah um, but I do actually, I did actually have someone once tell me on one of my videos in the comments that they decided to buy Shadow and Bone because I was talking so highly about it. And that, that was a first for anybody like that wasn't a friend or family member that did that. That was a first. So that was pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if you ended up liking it. If you know who you are, comment below and tell me if you ended up liking the series or not. I would love to know. But yeah, people don't typically come to me for book reviews or recommendations. Um, number 10. What book have you had the most success recommending? Caraval! Caraval! Because my best friend is like almost done with the entire series. Including Once Upon a Broken Heart. So, everybody read Caraval. If there's one thing you take from this video, read Caraval. I promise you will not be disappointed. Um, number 11. Do you take notes or annotate when you read? If so, what form does it take? Yes, I do. I went over this in my last video. Um, I annotate with the stickies. I get different ones each time, but these are the ones I have right now. So, yes. Um, do do do. No, stop it. Um, Number 12, how many books are in your personal library and how do you organize your books? There's a lot in my library right now. Um, I mostly organize right now by the author. So this is all Lee Bardugo, Stephanie Garber, all my Disney books. This will be my shadow hunter shelf once I get more of the books. Um, yeah, the rest of them are kind of a mess right now. I need to I need to organize them better. Um, number 13. Do you read books in languages other than your own? Not yet. I don't speak any other languages. But maybe one day. Um, number 14. Do you read one book or multiple books at a time? I can. I read anywhere between like two to three books at a time. Because I feel like I get bored really quickly with just reading one. So I typically have like two or three. The most I think has been three, but I usually have at least two going at one time. So, yes. And that was the last question. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tag. Um, I will leave it in the description if you would like to do it yourself. Um, and I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you never miss a video. And I will see you in the next one. Love you.